every spirit has a sound. Every sound needs a structure. Every structure needs a system. And every system should have sustainability. Not imitate someone else's system and someone else's structure. Your system, whether it be automation, whether it be speaking, whatever your system is, it has to be in alignment with your sound. And I think that's why many of us, and I'm saying us, Many of us, some of us have overcome, like I'm, I have overcome this particular point that I'm speaking right now, but from time to time it tries to make its way into these airs. Right now, I'm wearing a suit. And this suit is covering my body. This suit is the clothing for my body. Values is the clothing for our spirit. But what habit are you demonstrating on a day-to-day -day basis? Let's define the word habit. And very simply, habit comes from the same root word as set, where we get the word mindset. So my mind is set based upon the habits that I practice on a daily basis. So what's the relationship between habit and spirit? What's the spirit that is showing up in your shoe? The spirit that is showing up in your shoe relies and depends on whether or not we are manifesting a functional or dysfunctional habit. It's when you wake up early in the morning, before you put your feet on the ground, are you in a place of functional or dysfunctional habit? And you can know, you can know which, 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 which type of habit that you're practicing because are you focusing on the past? Are you focusing on problem? or you're focusing on possibilities. If you're focusing on possibilities, then you are in the place of functional habit. In this module, we will examine the third trait that enables us to soar, soar into our greatness. What is observant? Observant simply means to watch or to regard attentively. So here's my question before we even get deep into the content today. What have you been watching? What have you been regarding attentively? Imagine for a moment that you are the director of your own movie and you are the star of that movie. What are some of the things that you're observing in your character? What are some of the things that you're observing in your plot? How do you respond when you encounter an obstacle? Can you see? Can you see that that could be problematic if you are perceiving an obstacle as overwhelmed and vice versa? Here is IQ. Many of us are familiar with IQ because our education system prepares us for IQ. See, IQ might prepare you for a job, but EQ, it prepares you for life. But I want to add another Q. There's IQ, there is EQ, and then there is AQ. Dr. Ray, where are you going with this? AQ, I'm not familiar with AQ. Well, AQ is our adaptability quotient. EQ is emotional intelligence, and we all are familiar with IQ. 
on knowledge base, on knowledge capacity. That gap, that gap there between the natural man saying, to heck with it, enough is enough. And, hmm, enough is enough.